Northwest Arkansas grows every year, and with more people moving to the region, infrastructure and roads have to keep up. Right now, RDOT is planning on widening Highway 112, which is leaving several businesses with no choice but to move. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams talked to the owner of Kaya Chocolate in Elm Springs about their plans going forward. After RDOT announced last year that they plan to widen Highway 112, the owners of Kaya Chocolate in Elm Springs found out their location was going to turn into a roundabout. Store owner Rick Boozy said it took months for them to find a new spot. We looked at probably 50 buildings. Um, we kind of like being on cool little back roads and so um, there aren't a lot of those available so we scanned a lot of different buildings and finally found this one up here uh, in probably July. This time of year is busy for the store and Boozy says moving from their spot is a hassle. I mean we still do daily production so there's still chocolate bars being made and syrups being made every day and so um, kind of like I got an extra job for, the, for about seven months. Um, we signed the lease early in uh, August, and so it took us a few months to convert the building over. But there is a bright side to the relocation. The chocolate room is about three times the size, and our syrup room will be about five times the size. So we're real, super excited about the physical space, but we're also excited to be up here in, uh, in West Bentonville. The widening project involves making Highway 112 a four-lane highway with a raised median, sidewalks, and eight roundabout at existing intersections. And this has got to happen for safety reasons, for congestion reasons. All parts of the day, you you, you know, riding 112, driving down 112, it was congested. Doesn't matter if it was morning, afternoon, it was really getting uh, to be to be an issue in a a quality of life matter and safety for people. Parker says the total project would cost about $350 million, but construction won't start until next year. I start at the southern part of 112 uh, until 2025, so uh, sometime uh, spring to summer of next year, and then we'll start one project, and then as that first project begins to wind down, we'll start the second one. There will be some overlap, but it's going to be uh, at least three, four years uh, five years to get all of this taken care of. Both locations in Bentonville and Elm Springs are up and running, but Boozy says right now he's aiming for the last week of the year to be the final week of operations for the Elm Springs location. Covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.